here's my scene so far and what I want to do right now is I want to texture these doors in Substance Painter and a little bit in Blender. It's going to be very straightforward. So I'm going to come into the doors and I'm first of all I'm going to delete any UV maps that already exist that Blender may have created at the beginning. Get rid of everything. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hide the stuff that I don't want involved. I'm going to hide that stuff. I'll do that in Blender. This is the stuff I want to do, but I also want to hide any of the modifiers for now. Uh, this stuff will be mirrored there. I just want that though. Okay, so I'm going to focus just on the door, and you can see why. Wow, how I've made this very simply. So I'm going to select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and shift control the outer edge to go around. Just like that, control E, mark seam. I'm going to select it. I'm going to come to UV editing and U unwrap, and I'll get that. Let's just focus on this one now. Okay. Um, I think I can actually delete these back faces there and I'm going to select it all and go control E mark seam U unwrap good enough slash key to bring back this piece go in control E mark seam U unwrap I'm going to uh, create a new material here I'm going to call this um, door and I want this with the same material so that's going to have door on it and this I'm going to have as a separate material. I'm going to call this uh, door uh, metal. And the last piece that I need is this glass here. So we'll come in here, select it, Control E, Mark Seam. Let's just check the unwrap. Looks like that. Okay, good. So I'm going to slash to bring that back. So I want this. This one is going to be glass. So I'm going to call this. Uh, door glass and so I have that one that one that one and that one come in you unwrap I'm gonna leave it like that that's probably gonna be okay so and and I'm gonna use UV pack master 3 to pack but you could just use UV pack islands all right now I'm ready to export this as an FBX and bring it into substance painter you'll notice that I'm not seeing my glass but if I turn it around, I do see my glass. So I'm gonna come back to Blender and select it and Alt N flip because I want my door this way. I don't care if it's, you don't know, see it on the other side. All right, so I needed to do that. So I'll just select it again and I'll export it again. All right, so here's my door. It's time to bake the mesh maps. I'm gonna do this at 2K. I don't need an ID. Okay, cool, there it is. All right, and I've got door, door glass, and door metal. I'm gonna start with door, and delete that. In materials, I'm gonna search for metal. And I'm gonna use this steel painted. And I think I'll change this scale to maybe 10. Just want a little bit of that kind of look here. And we'll change the color. I'll just choose a color that we think looks good. I'll go with something like that. That's all I need to do for the moment. I'm gonna come over to the metal. Let's try that. I'm gonna try this steel rough. Yeah, that looks good to me. Well, let's try uh, a couple of different ones. Okay. Yeah, maybe that one for that stuff there. Okay, and um, it, they're gonna be mirrored, but I may do a little bit of stuff here, like for example, add a, a fill layer and a black mask. What I think I wanna do actually here is have maybe just height. Let me try lowering it. All right, let's use an alpha, Get the dirt. Just do a little bit of something on here. Like if I just 
do a little bit of stuff like that here and there. And just look through this dirt spots. Nothing really impressive or anything, just, just to give a little bit of texture to it. Um, what can I use? What's that? Oh, that's too much. Yeah, all right. Well, you get the idea anyhow. But that's the basic door. And then I'm going to come over to the glass. And with the glass, I've got to come in here and change this to PBR. Uh, metal rough with alpha blending and in the texture settings I need to add an opacity channel to it and that's down there's now an opacity on there okay so for the glass I'm going to go to smart materials and I'm going to use this glass visor and I'm going to change the opacity down here. I'm going to lower it like that. And then I'll do a black mask. And let's try dirt. Okay, that's not what I want. All right, that puts it around the, the edge, which is great. Uh, let's just go to the base color though. I want this dark, maybe a brownish color, something like that, and I'm happy with that. So that's my basic door right there. It doesn't have to be incredible, it just got to have some, some cool texture on it. Okay, so now that that's done, um, I'm going to export this, but you have to have um, the right uh, template. Uh, with opacity to export and I've done videos on that um, exporting uh, opacity from uh, substance painter into blender as well so uh, with that done I'm going to save that and I'm going to choose export textures I'm going to choose my folder that I want to put that in and then I'm going to choose a template that has opacity PPR metallic roughness opacity so if you haven't done that before you can watch uh, one of my uh, substance painter glass uh, tutorials okay export and you'll see I've got an opacity mask that, or map down there okay cool back to blender all right let's bring everything back first of all we'll put on all of the modifiers again All right, I'm going to save. Let's go over the shading tab. And under door, I'm going to select the principal BSTF and shift control T, textures, door, base color down to roughness. And I get that. And it goes on the, on this little frame. It goes on there. Door metal. Door metal we get that um, let's just before we do the glass stuff let's look at this all I want to do here for these dots let's take that and put that on there we go I'm going to create a material in blender and it's just going to be metal basic I guess because I may reuse it and I turn this down just ever so slightly a little bit over to the blue and the metallic up the roughness maybe down this a little bit and that's basically going to be my metal okay I'm going to use that. Let's hide that. I'm going to use that on here as well. Okay. 
Cool. So we're ready to work on the glass itself, door glass. So select shift control T and glass to glass. We'll do that. This is what it's starting to look like, but I'm going to come over also to the materials and scroll down and I'm going to change the blend mode to alpha blend. I'm going to turn on screen space reflections or refractions, refraction, screen space refraction. So now we can't see through it yet, can we? So I'm going to move this out of the way. And we're going to bring in that opacity map image texture. Let's open that. And where is it? Opacity, there it is. And we're also going to add a shader, mix shader. We're going to drop that down right there. We're going to take this and plug that into the FAC. So we have that. And then we also need a transparent node plug that in there and now I can see through my glass and I still see the weird stuff on there so let's go back to layout and have a look in look dev I do have some lights already in here just to help us out in a camera and you know you can see that it, that the the doors are are uh, mirrored and so I may I may go back and think about that but I'm not too worried because probably from the angle you're going to see that you're not going to tell that much or you know, maybe you were moving a piece of equipment in and it was a big, you know, uh, symmetrical type thing and it hit the door. However, one of the fixes you may also need to do over here to get your, your uh, stuff to look right is to do this. All right. Right here where you have the normal map, um, Blender needs to have it like this. A combine RGB. separate RGB and the red channel will connect to the red the blue to the blue but it's the green channel that we need to flip or invert so that our stuff here looks indented rather than sticking out all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a color invert node I'm just gonna drop it in I don't want it there so I'm gonna move that down I'm gonna take that here and we're gonna come from the green into the color and from the color into the color and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to detach it and plug it in there so we'll get a switch or an inversion going on here and then this one is going to go into there so let's just move these along a little bit that one's going to go into there and now they're indented properly and so that's what you need to do now let me just have a real quick look at something here okay look everything looks good so those are my doors. If I look through the camera and do a quick, uh, quick render, let's check it out. There they are. Okay, and this metal stuff hopefully just blends in uh, with the rest. We'll uh, continue to uh, do the textures in Substance Painter and Blender and see how the scene starts turning out. Thanks for watching.